Welcome along to Culture Van and HQ out at St. John's. <laughs> we're, we come to the, the powerhouse of where everything to do with the Manx language is arranged. Adrian Kane, of course, Manx language officer. Congratulations. He's holding up very proudly Manx phrases. The new book, which co- accompanies the yeah, Manx, words, Manx words. You know, um, yeah, we've been um, developing. Well, Manx words came out um, just about a year ago, I think. Now we've already had to do a second print run, but the follow up to oh, it good. is Manx phrases. Yeah, which is a, a work I've been, um, you know, working on for a little while, and it's basically a series. Well, Manx words. Um, is in effectively a short dictionary for learners, but it's really good. Um, it's, it's based on a Welsh um, one where they analyse the sort of words that people would use in conversation as learners. Right. So it goes through those with examples. And Manx phrases is really um, drilling down a little and looking at key areas people like to talk about, like the TT races and the element going on holidays, going to um, school, work, you know, Douglas, living in the South and stuff like that. And then coming up with a series of questions and set phrases that people might use when talking about things like that. So a fair amount of proficiency in Manx to move on to the phrases? Well, then. I mean... I mean, not loads of... It's a really good piece of work for sort of intermediate learners who really want to um, sort of be able to talk about certain subjects. So, for example, you know, it's like any conversation, you know, you know, you will end up talking about holidays, for example, and things like that, where you like to go, or maybe about going to you know, school, where you went and all that sort of stuff. So it helps you develop a series of sort of patterns and in um, and vocab and phrases that you likely to use and maybe use quite a bit over and over again, really. So it's about helping you shape um, your ability to have a conversation on different. We've got about twenty different topics there, so you, you can um, you can become more confident and proficient about speaking about going on holiday, mm-hmm. about schools, about the TT races and stuff like that, really. And how do you follow it up? Because obviously looking at the written word and hearing it, do you, do you have online stuff that people can back yeah, it up? Yeah, yeah. You know, most of the words here are um, online um, and we hope to in the not too distant future, uh, we'll have all the phrases and stuff here online as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the sort of stuff you can use in classes or intermediate learners will know how people to ask or they'll be predominantly familiar with it, but they, they'll know who, who to ask and, and things like that. Um, but the, both of them are really aimed at, um, th- th- there's lots of online stuff, lots of classes going on, um, and it's about providing a, um, a sort of stepping stone for learners and intermediate speakers to a sort of high level and giving them more confidence mm. and the ability to talk about certain key issues. Um, often referred to them sort of islands of Gilg. So, you know, if you can be, you know, if you can get onto the topic of schools or holidays or Douglas TT races, then you're confident you can actually talk about these things. So would you use it in a situation where we, with other Manx people, you could go and look at the phrase and actually practice that and try yeah, and get into conversation? Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. So if we open it up here, you know, again, it's holidays, you know, yeah. sort of questions like, you know, what type of holidays do you like? going on you know what's where's the best place you've been you know yes, do, each time, yeah all right okay yeah, so one, uh, yeah well okay so let's um so kren such leg and sarah smiley what type of holidays do you like yeah. so we've got various answers ah you know uh, leg and sarah the ag and look tie you know family sort of holidays mm-hmm. and things like that Cret and bullshit to rua vey where's the most you know the best place you've been you know or tell me if they was um does rambool you know i've been to loads of different places which i like and things like that so you get sort of used to the patterns and the familiarity with it and you can practice these because you know sooner or later someone is going to ask you about these christmas phrases in there there is the stuff about Christmas. What do you do at Christmas? At the bar. At the bar. <laughs> you know, key twenty phrases. So you, if you're at the bar, um, the you might ask, yeah, who you might want to going shopping and things like that. Um, what you do in your free time? Yeah. Um, so at the bar, it's sort of Craig Bavilia. What would you like people to know that sort of thing? Um, who Koi Shednekavar? Who's that at the bar? Um, Bavile Farella, would you like another one? You know, Koita Kionica, there might be one for you. Who's paying? <laughs> you know, uh, who's buying? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, and Jark and Dorish, which is a, a great phrase. It means a drink of the door, which is basically one for the road. Mm. So if you say uh, Jark and Dorish, so, you know, um, so a wide range Brilliant. of different sort of um, situations um, that you can use and practice your mountain. 
Okay, that's the latest one from you. Yeah. What's next? Are you working on anything at the minute, or is it um, top secret? Yeah, well, no, uh, not top secret, really. We're, we're hoping to develop more stuff with, say, something in um, um, Manx online course, which is a brilliant online course. Um, so we'll be developing more stuff on that in the new year, and hopefully... Um, and there'll be more classes available. So lots lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff. Okay, what you don't know, because this has come to my mind, I think we should feature some phrases and put them up. Yeah. Is that right with you? We'll no, do that? Absolutely, you know, that'd just, be good. Just put it in front of the public. I think it's, and, or, or made the words, whichever phrase. phrase yeah, words. yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Is there anything particularly you'd like to talk about? <laughs> who's paying you? Who's paying? <laughs> quite a, yeah, quite, who's buying? buying. Who's quite a kionica? Quite Quite a, a, yeah. I can't speak English, but you know that. I'm, I'm terrible at languages. You're terrible. You're terrible. It is bad. It's a, that's a good question. I mean, it's a, people who stumble at even learning French. I mean, yeah. is it phonetically? Is it, is it just to listen to it? Well, most of our stuff we do is, is based around listening and speaking, you know. Um, and um, it's just repetition, to be honest. It's not, yeah. there's no, um, it's not rocket science. And we do a lot, um, a lot of our, and we, these are sort of partly based on these. See, both these books are about f- um, the frequency of words and sentences and phrases appearing. And the, the reality is, you know, um, learning a language and Manx in this context, you don't have to be expert on grammar. All, all you need to do is develop your memory. Okay, and a lot of the work we do in classes and the online stuff is simply about repetition and trying to help people remember um, stuff. Um, and working on memory, that's the key thing to learning language. How do you stop yourself forgetting? That's the key thing. And finally, do you think in Manx or English? Yeah, or, no, I think a, a lot combo? of combo. I think a lot of Manx. You know, Flip. I speak. Yeah, I flipped it. I'm a, you know, I speak Manx, and me and my son speak Manx all the time. So you know, a lot of you know, live in a sort of a bilingual world, really. So going back between the two isn't the problem. But as a general rule, learning another language, the key thing is to think about how do I develop my memory? How do I go around remembering these sort of things? Website? Usual stuff, learnmanx.com. Thank you.